Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about the process of counseling. And the first video I shared a while back, which I'll have linked uh, below, is kind of what to expect in our first session with a counselor. But one of the questions that I also get asked quite frequently once I start working with an individual is, hey, where do we go from here? And how does this process kind of work? We've gotten through our first session, we've kind of maybe shared uh, a little bit about ourselves, both myself as the counselor, and of course, much more about the uh, individual that I'm working with. And so after that first session, we revisit, touch base, you know, hey, how do you feel the first session went? Is there anything that you would like to do differently? Again, um, you guys know I really like to empower the individuals that I work with to, um, you know, provide feedback and let me know, hey, this works for me and this doesn't. So I would encourage anybody that's in the early stages of counseling to provide their counselor, their therapist feedback. Let them know, hey, listen, when we spoke about this, I was feeling really upset and really sad and maybe depressed and you know, by the way, those are all completely normal feelings to have in the process of counseling. And so as, you know, a counselor and as a therapist, as I start to get or your counselor starts to get some of that feedback, um, you know, then we know a little bit better on how to gauge things and, and maybe where to take the conversation um, from there. Or at the very least, what to know as far as, hey, how deep can we go, right? Because... I'm not inside of your mind. I'm not inside of your heart. So um, unless you kind of share some feedback with myself or with your counselor, it's very hard for us to know, um, you know, what was too deep and, and maybe what still needs to be unpacked a little bit more. And one other important thing that I want to make about that important point is that there is absolutely no linear process when we look at healing. And when we look at healing, that's emotional, that's mental, that's physical, and that's spiritual. There's no linear process. Boy, I sure wish that there was. I really do. Um, but through our healing process, we can feel like we made a few steps forward and then even taken some steps back. And that kind of nuance may actually go on for some time. So if you've also kind of early on in your counseling experience, you feel like, hey, well, I had a good first couple sessions where I felt like I really made a lot of progress. And then I kind of felt like I, you know, stumbled or things kind of slowed down or things got very difficult. I also want to let you know that that's completely normal and that's part of the process, right? So feedback is very critical to the extent that you feel comfortable, right? Uh, and, and also it's on the counselor and on the therapist to, of course, read you and read your body language and your tonality. So for us to know kind of, okay, I think this may be a time for us to pull back. And I will even check in with the individuals that I work with, right? Hey, last week we spoke about this or, or right now we're speaking about this particular topic. Um, you know, you let me know if this is, is too much for you or if I'm starting to get that sense that I think it may be too much for them. Um, you know, I may even pull back and kind of see where it is that the individual I'm working with takes the conversation. So feedback in both ways, of course, it's a collaborative process. Um, and then the other thing is just knowing that it is not a linear process. So there will be forward movement and, and what seems like backwards movement, but it's really not backwards. As we start to peel back the onion or pull up the rug on some of those deep seated emotional, mental, physical, maybe even spiritual traumas, that pulling up the rug process can make us feel like we're stuck or feel like we're stopped. We're not, we're just pausing to start to release um, some of that uh, energy, which gets which gets stored in, in the body and stored in our mind. So those are just a few quick tips that I wanted to share with you guys. I'll be making another video uh, as well on this topic, a part two, but we'll keep it short. And we'll keep it concise. So feedback collaboratively, which means I'm working with the individual um, for us both to come up with something that's comfortable for the individual I'm working with. So feedback and knowing that the process is not linear. So those are my two, two big tips for part one of the video of what to expect in counseling. Um, you can feel free to click the link below if you're interested in booking a free 
uh, 15 minute consultation with me completely free. Um, I do this work because I love to be of service and to help others. So if watching my video resonates with me, with you and, and you'd like to do a session with me, um, my, my door is open to extend that to you. So I send you all love and light and I hope that this video was helpful. Hello to all of you out there. My name is Ryan Joseph Kopiar, and I want to invite you to come on this journey with me to learn more about healing and the holistic power of the mind-body connection. I think at the end of the day, we all want to live a happier, more joyful and fulfilled life. And my hope is that together on this journey, we can explore the mind-body connection and what it means to truly experience inner healing. So I want to thank you for joining me and uh, hopefully this will be an exciting journey that we can all take together.